hear Shane Wells screams as he dangled upside down, waiting for fire crews to rescue him. He and two other men were trapped when the building they were demolishing collapsed. It was really loud. Loud, all that metal. You, it was like a noise. It was just loud. I knew something wasn't right. That's what made me look. Then I seen it all like coming down. I'm like, oh my God. We heard it starting to crash. We've seen two guys up there and they just disappeared. Two of the Lowendick workers made it out on their own. One ran down the ladder of the fire truck as soon as it reached him. The other was in the bucket at the end of the crane on this truck. You can see the weight of the building snapped the crane, bringing the man down with it. He was very lucky that nothing hit him. Both are okay, but the minutes on the ground waiting for Wells to be saved were tense. The guy that was upside down was yelling because he acted like he is in pain. Fire crews worked to cut Wells free while at the same time making sure they kept each other safe. The crowd below watched as firefighters carried Wells to the ground. After a quick handshake, his co-workers showed signs of relief as Wells was taken to a nearby hospital, injured but alive. They got very lucky, very lucky. I gotta go.